in my mind, uh, a university, particularly a national university, mm. should always be somewhere at the center of yeah. of, of of shaping. Yeah. 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 Checking development, policy yeah, and policy. collaborating yeah. with the different areas of government. Definitely. Go to the AI tool and, mm. and type this. I hope your, your audience will, will take notes on this one. All right. Here is a, a magic prompt. Yeah, well, uh, I would advise them to, to embrace uh, not just AI uh, technology uh, because I worry a lot that uh, most of them, particularly those that... Uh, are A students, right? Mm -hmm. They focus a lot on getting those good grades, forgetting mm -hmm. that the workplace is now different. Thank you. Welcome to another episode of the Many Things IT podcast. Um, it's an exciting day today. <clears throat> we are joined by Professor Sandy Lemot. Um, we are here to discuss a lot of things, technology. Um, Prof, welcome. Welcome, Sylvia. Yeah. Thanks, Tipo. Yeah, thanks for inviting me to your show. You call it what? Podcast. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And thank you very much for giving us the time. It's been some time. We spoke late last year. Um, yeah. But yeah, the day has eventually arrived. We are honored. Yeah, it's my, <clears throat> my pleasure. I'm, uh, looking, uh, I'm looking forward to the conversation. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We are named Many Things IT, but basically we are not restrictive. It's not an IT podcast. Mm. We are we're as broad as we possibly can um, on technology. But of course, we have a bias towards the information side. Mm -hmm. Um, of it, um, and the purpose is to bring conversations, to shine light on people that are doing amazing things from Eswatini um, in the space. We discuss careers, we discuss developments, we discuss things that we observe, and mm. one of the reasons we, 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 we actually targeted you as an invitee, it is because of an observed interest in an area or a field within within the technology space. But we are going to come to that. Sylvia, welcome. Thanks, Dipo. Um, I'm also looking forward to today's conversation. All right. Yeah. As I see at the beginning, mm -hmm. not the beginning, but basically a little bit back, um, <laughs> How far back? Uh, <laughs> Not very far back. But basically, we're trying to cause, uh, okay. also, also uh, create a context around mm. your present interest and, okay. and, 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 right. and, 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 a little bit back, um, it's just so that a person who is at a Gwenzeni, not the situation, the place, <laughs> the area. can actually the area yes can actually locate themselves mm -hmm. and project their, themselves to future by looking at other people and interacting mm -hmm. with other people's stories, and being able to relate to yes. that. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I guess give me. Uh, you know, I'd say, you know, I'm I'm a mathematician. Uh, that's that's where it starts. And okay. uh, yeah, still cool man AI eventually, but the uh, interest yeah in technology is largely influenced by my training. Okay. Uh, in terms of e emails. All right. Uh, because. You know, the type of maths that I specialize in is the applied type of mathematics. Right. And again, over time, uh, you know, maths has evolved. Yeah, mm. good see. Currently, there is now a thin line between a technology and, 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 and mathematics yeah, yeah. because in mathematics is uh, now 
mostly applied. Yes. And uh, to apply it to real life problems, you need to model, you know, mm. real life situations. Mm. And uh, once you've modeled the real life situation, you must then uh, solve it. Okay. Yeah. And to solve it, you need a technology yes. in the form of, uh, uh, to put it uh, in layman's terms, I would say a program, mm. yeah, one, which you have an algorithm that must be implemented as yes. a solution to the problem. Yeah. So you then tend to use a lot of technology in the form of scientific, you know, computing yes. uh, techniques to solve the problem so that the solution is over applicable okay. in solving the real life, you know, situation. So then over time, I then uh, got interested in programming. Yes. Uh, then because mathematics is complex. Yes then you need to apply uh, advanced programming mm. to solve a real life thing. Okay. Then, uh, then the programming then took me to other areas, okay. which are not necessarily mathematical mm. in nature. So uh, mostly as a hobby. Mm. Yeah, but, <clears throat> so I then got interested in other programming languages. Right. As a start, yeah. Your... JavaScript, your yes. TypeScript, your your Python, your and many other languages mm. that are not necessarily part of my, you know, your core profession. Yeah, profession. Yeah, but you get, uh, you you don't. You have twenty four hours in a day. Yeah, bo. Yes. You don't want to wake up and do mathematics. Mm. You want to solve other problems. You want to apply your skills that you've gained in other areas. Okay. So uh, I then uh, started by doing things like uh, apps. Yeah. Well, yeah. well <laughs> uh, I must go back. <laughs> <laughs> and I asked you how far back <laughs> I'm tempted to start. You can go as <laughs> you want. All right. Uh, <laughs> Let me do this because yes. we want this to be relevant to today's topic, yes. right? Yes. Let me start from, let's say, the late 90s. Okay. Late 90s, what happened in the late 90s, uh, that was when the internet, you know, yes. uh, came to light. Yes. So uh, I got interested in doing websites. Okay. Back then, you do a whole website, HTML. Of pen. course. Yeah. There was no styling, there was no, yes. you, you only had one file. <laughs> so that's how it started, right? Multiple files uh -huh. in X and whatever, yes, and whatever. Yes. All you could play with is colors and uh -huh. finally moving text. Mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah. <laughs> so you fast forward then in my teaching, yeah. right? Uh, because I, I needed to apply my 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 skills, yes. my website design skills, yes. later app development skills. Yes. I then started doing Emma Emma apps, okay. right? So all the courses that I I teach have uh, an app, okay. yeah, corn. Okay. So I like right now. Uh, <clears throat> I I will not have a book or le when mm. I when I taught you, yes. you I did the, 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 the manuals, manual, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Now, those manuals have been converted into an app, okay. right? Uh, how is that useful? Uh, good see. With an app, you're able to, first of all, readily update the content. Yes. As you update, the students receive it, you know, yes. instantly. Yes. And uh, with an app, Labo JavaScript, you are then able to uh, use dynamic examples. Yes. Meaning the examples is not fixed, right? Yes. A book, you will have a fixed F. number of examples in a chapter. Let's say you have 10, mm. but in an app, the examples are not fixed. So so you have infinite number of examples mm. with accompanying solutions. Okay. So the students can just click, click. So everything is interactive. Yeah. So that's the advantage. So those are some of the, the skills that I've picked up, yeah. firstly as hobbies, but you want to use them somewhere. So that's how I've been able to use them. 
you, yeah. you know, one of one of one of the okay. One compliment I'll, I'll give you is mm. um, okay. Me and my first interaction with you was as a student. I think you had just come back from mm. from from from. You just started in Zim. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did my masters in. You had, you had just come back yeah. from 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 your masters training. Mm. Mm. One thing that was distinct about you was the interaction with students. Mm. which was at a human to human level not at a um lecturer student level mm-hmm. and because of that um we we could relate with your content mm. and also engaging in this engaging in and 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 requiring or de- trying to get more or clarity mm-hmm. on things was not Formal and because it wasn't mm. formal, mm. it becomes a, a, a continuous um, engagement, and it is mm. something that I think I'm observing from afar. Mm. Um, your interaction with all the, those people that have gone through your yeah. your 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 your, your mm-hmm. thinning. That's, it's 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 a huge compliment. Um, mm-hmm. um, probably that I think academics, to an extent, sometimes struggle mm. with. Mm. And out of that, and you are talking about models and how you have tried to, uh, how you have applied mm. and picked up hobbies and applied them directly into what 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 you are doing. What it mm. does to those of us that interact with it and with you is that nothing is not important. Mm-hmm. I pick up a hobby, I can immediately apply it to yeah. something that I do, and actually. Mm. Um, makes it in the process I'm learning and in the process mm-hmm. I'm I'm solving this problem or that problem, mm-hmm. and yeah, it's it's it's, it's one it's <laughs> one of those things. Um, I just wanted to come in and say oh, it's okay. a compliment. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I mean, there's the part where you yeah, that's the part. I, I, was <laughs> I, I, was, I did say it. <laughs> I was yeah, <laughs> I was struggling to, uh, I think, to define myself, we'll see how do I do it, uh, but I've observed, we'll see, you know, some people find it easy to, to talk to me, I don't know why, maybe it's because uh, I'm open, you yeah, know, human like I'm, yeah, I'm, hum- you support, I'm human. <laughs> you support football, you uh, support sports, uh, you, 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 you talk about things that people are doing every day. But, but the, the main thing is, uh, it, it, it's linked to, th- to the technology, right? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, since we're, we're still going back, right? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> going back, there was this thing, what you call, e, the social media thing. I've always been on, on, on social <laughs> media next week. Okay. Uh, well, not, not the mobile ones. The <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> The browser base, even about Facebook, I, I, I'm sure is the first to sign up. And uh, so over time, young people are on those platforms. Yes. Then they interact with me, even if, you know, you find that some of them are, uh, maybe they don't, they wouldn't come to me it's or even call me, but yeah, yeah. Th- they would find it easy to use technology to, to communicate. Okay. So I've, I've never like stopped them from, from using it any platform to communicate because at the end of the day for me what is important is to understand what this person's problem is and to assist the person using any any platform uh, that would be you know that would enable us to to communicate so yeah uh, i'm an open person and and also i'm i'm not uh i'm not Stiff, <laughs> I tend to to joke a lot, even on social media. Uh, yeah. Most of my posts are mostly humorous things, and uh, yeah, and I'm bent. not serious at all. Yeah, <laughs> humorous things and pain. Mm. Okay, mm. all right. Yeah, um, should, should, should I continue? Because yeah, yeah. we're still in the in yes. the night. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> 
okay, then uh, I was talking about interest I mean, technology yes. and, and how I've applied, how and why I've applied it to, you know, to, to, to my uh, profession. Uh, Men are mostly driven by, um, I think, in, 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 in being impactful in whatever that, that I do. Okay. Uh, I, I always want to, to help, you know, people. Mm. I see gaps. Mm. I've seen a lot of gaps in, uh, in the environment that we work under. Mm -hmm. Like during your time, <clears throat> you guys were okay because uh, you had, with your allowance, you could be able to buy resources for, for teaching, I mean, for, for, for learning. We never bought. Uh, we never bought. <laughs> You never bought, yeah. but you, you could afford. <laughs> <laughs> you could afford to buy. Yes, if if if, 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 the, if, the, if there was a, a a prescribed teaching resource, yes. you could buy it, right? Yes. If you needed yes. to buy a computer, now now we are dealing with a situation where you have students that cannot afford to buy even a, a lecture manual for hundred rand. So what do you do in such a situation? So you have to okay. to 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 sort of assist them somehow. Mm. And I figured that, like in, in a class, looking across, even if the class is a class of hundred to hundred and fifty, mm. you find that almost everyone has a cell phone, right? Mm. And uh, times have changed. Uh, the students they consume knowledge through Lama through devices, the handset, that, yeah. yeah. So I had also to transform so that whatever product that I designed for them, uh, they'd be able to uh, to find it useful. And utilize what they mm. already have. Yeah. Mm. So over time, then I've been uh, working on these apps and uh, they use them, you know, on the bus going to school to mm. study. Mm. And uh, yeah. In the class, when I when I when I give them homeworks, uh, they have individual homeworks because the technology will enable you to create a, a unique assessment for every student. Even if there are five hundred in a class, mm. you are able to set a, an assignment that has unique, unique questions each, for for all yeah. five hundred. Okay. And uh, with the app, still you are able to. Uh, to generate a, a unique marking guide that matches the, the, the questions for the students. So that's how I've used the technology. Uh, but then fast forward to, to 2023, what then happened is that, uh, you know, every time you want to upgrade things, you mm -hmm. want to, to change the interface, you want to beautify it, you want to introduce new elements, that make it easy for 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 the students mm -hmm. because one of the challenge one of the challenges that uh, you know you find and I think as a developer uh, is a situation where when you are developing something you must ensure that it, it will work across all devices. Yes, like you have you have students who use iPhones, you have those who use uh, Samsung, Android. Mm. And then you have those who use Bo Huawei. Mm. So you know what happened when uh, the Americans suddenly yes. forced, yes. you know, yes. Bo, Google and, and, and all these things to, 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 to move that. out. Yeah. Yes. So what happened was that you find a situation where you create an app, then one student will complain that uh, oh, it doesn't phone. function or on their phone. Yeah. 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 So mm. it, it, it doesn't function on their phone and you've set an assignment, yes. then, then, then what do you do? Then it became a problem. Okay. So then you, you find that you have to uh, maybe rewrite the whole thing <laughs> altogether. Mm. And uh, it, takes, it takes time then to do that. Then I discovered the AI. Okay. Yeah. So I think it was late 2022. Uh, when this open AI, yes. you know, yes. the hype started yes. in 2022, there was a lot of talk about it. Then I said, okay, let me just sign up for this thing. Okay. Around, well, I think, January 2023. 
Uh, I believe I was one, uh, you know, when it was growing, they were, they were saying, okay, this is the fastest growing thing, yes. the first million yes. in a few days. And yes. so I was one of the first few uh, yeah. uh, back then. Uh, but obviously because it wasn't available in, in a certain yes. year, I had to use VPN, yes, you know, yes, uh, yes, and yes. Uh, my South African numbers to, to, to sign up. Just... Yeah, yeah. But back then they were they were a bit lenient, you know. Yes. They were not restrict, restricting, yes. uh, you know, from from countries that are not part of their yes. regions that they recognize. So it only came later yeah. when uh, you were now logging in. Then it asked you for your for your yes. cell phone number. Yes. So I signed up. The reason why I signed up was because I wanted to use it. There was this claim that it it, it can uh, clean up your codes. It can uh, mm. translate code from one language to yes. the other. Yes. So you'd find that you have a, a, a code which you know it works in, in one language yes. and you are not conversant with that language, yes. right? Let's say that the, the, the code is in uh, C++, yes. for example. You want to convert it. You want to it. convert it into JavaScript. Yeah. So, so how I normally do things is, uh, let's say you, you, you want to write a, a, a code for solving, um, let's say, a transportation problem, mm -hmm. you know, just an example of a mathematics problem. Mm -hmm. Then uh, the code is available online in C++, mm -hmm. but you want to, to, to incorporate to it into, into your, your app, app yeah. which uses JavaScript. Yes. So, Instead of now learning the syntax of C++, trying to translate, yes. then you could automate that thing by simply copying and pasting the code there, yes. then write a prompt, translate to JavaScript, that's all Test it. Yeah. it. So that's how I, I got into it. it. Okay. That's how I got into it. So I found it useful for that purpose. Okay. Then that's where it started. Okay. Yeah. Um, in my mind, I would <clears throat> like for us to go a little bit back. I got mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. Little bit. Um, and in your in your background, you you actually say you are an applied mathematician. Yeah. Um, during COVID, especially the period of the of the mm -hmm. lockdown, my observations were you were doing a lot of modeling, mm -hmm. um, predictive modeling. Mm. of the growth of e, the infection rate mm -hmm. um in 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 Eswatin using meds okay how much of those types of things um mm. are you involved in practically like mm. okay practically is the wrong word because you are involved in it mm -hmm. but how much of it um does then get utilized by the the structures that be that actually okay. make an impact and influence mm -hmm. our day to day lives. Mm. All right, M maybe let me explain uh, how I ended up doing that. Okay. Uh, for me, it was a way. I felt it was my duty to inform the public. Yes. Because uh, people were misled. In fact, I was annoyed. Okay. Let, let me tell you why. Uh, I had uh, a son okay. who was born during COVID. All right. And it affected me personally. Okay. Because uh, he was born in 2020, All right. April. A few days after, after the first lockdown. cases have been, had, mm. had been reported. Mm. Then what happened immediately afterwards is they closed all the shops. <clears throat> you see? Uh, and at the time when they closed, we, we, I think we've had, at that time, we had maybe less than 50 cases. So they said they, they closed Troopep, they closed, <laughs> <laughs> they closed Click, they closed all the Everything, yeah. Imagine. Yeah. Everywhere where we could buy uh, diapers, it's where we could buy milk and, uh, and stuff like that. And at the same time, no matter what literally... Just a, a month or so before then, mm. one the craze of buying everything mm. by those because that have Because people buy. were stockpiling yeah. and... Um, yeah. Yeah, so... Basically, okay. then some of the items mm. were running out. So, so I felt it was my duty 
to to counter the narrative. Okay. Or maybe I should also add that uh, I'm uh, wearing a, a hat of uh, being a member of what we call the Kingdom of Eswatini Academy of Science. Yes. Now, what that is, is uh, I'd say our mandate is to sort of give uh, ev- evidence-based scientific advice you know, okay. uh, to solve the nation's problem. All right. We we seek to create awareness on the importance of science mm. and using science for decision making. Okay. To promote science and so forth. So I was doing that as uh, I felt it was my duty of, as a member yeah. to to help inform you know uh, society yes. uh, about the facts. Okay. You see. So if we are saying. Uh, uh, after two weeks, we are likely to have the cases uh, doubling or, or trebling. Mm. You cannot just guess that it's going to happen. You must have the facts. Mm. You must uh, use science uh, to to predict. To predict, yeah. yeah. So, so what I was doing was was that okay. I was using the science now to to do the predictions and also to inform the public. Now, because uh, I couldn't, you know, uh, go to the radio yes. and do it because... <laughs> yes. uh, because uh, radio... Yeah. So I had to use my microphone, the, yeah. the social media, uh, to, to, to inform. Okay. And I ensured that I, I made all those posts, you know, public yeah. so that, you know, anyone who wants to access them can... can, can, can yeah. Okay. So uh, I was following the, the data uh, daily. Uh, luckily, you know, eventually, I think we were invited to be part of what was called at the time, uh, I think, Technical Advisory Committee okay. or, or some sort. So there's this unit uh, within the, I think, the ministry that, yes. that, that deals with, you know, ep- epidemiology yes, issues. Yes, yeah. Yes. So we were invited to be part of of, of that group. Uh, so we we managed to to receive the data okay. uh, uh, daily, uh, not daily, but uh, you know, Frequently w- whenever we needed it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but because we we're publishing the statistics daily, mm. uh, the the graphs that I was I was generating uh, were based on on the the statistics that that had been made public because. I think if you are given data, that's privileged information. Of course. Yeah. Yes. So I only uh, worked on what had been made public by 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 the by the Minister of Health. Okay. So every day I could uh, I would go to the government website and take note of the number of reported cases mm. and the number of deaths. Then I I add I would add them to my um I this Modern. you know yeah. yeah. Uh, Excel spreadsheet where I was keeping things, and on the on, on the background, I'd written some uh, Python code for visualizing the data. Okay. So every time after, you know, sometimes we publish them. Let's say it's seven p.m. Uh, two minutes later, I would have generated the graph. Then I post on on Facebook. Okay. And uh, yeah, so so that's how I did things. Yeah. Then then also over time. Uh, on the background, again, I had mathematical models for, mm. for, for the predictions now. Uh, so I remember during um, uh, the, what was it called? Omicron. When, uh, yes. yeah, Omicron, yes. I think it happened yes. around November, December. Yes. Because I was monitoring what was happening elsewhere. Yeah. Uh, so what, what struck me there, was the the high rate of in, of of, uh, of, of infection rate. yeah infection so, the deaths were low yes, yes so when i fed it into my into my uh models i was able to determine that okay this thing here in a certain is not going to last two weeks okay, okay. and i was so confident that i did when it started i i posted there uh to say okay uh this thing is spreading so fast; it's not going to last two weeks. People, you know, <laughs> you know how they this, comment. This, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but uh, 
it turned out that I, 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 I was, I, I mean, I was right. Uh, I was very happy that the model worked. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, so that's how I used uh, my and 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 that's not my area. I mean, I, I never trained yes. in that, uh, but because. You don't need to 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 be trained on anything uh, to understand it, right? Mm -hmm. You just must. You just need to be curious about it. Yes. You know, you read up on it, and uh, that's it, basically. Yeah. And be able to apply that knowledge that you read up on. Yeah. The the most important thing is the is being able to apply it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Has there been any? Okay, since then, and seeing the ability of scientific methods and models mm -hmm. um, to provide useful information, mm -hmm. information that can be used in a practical sense, mm -hmm. that can be used to actually prepare for, for the future. Mm -hmm. Has there been a, a continuation of the engagements, um, either with you personally, Mm -hmm. or with you in your membership capacity of KIAS, or with you, the institution that you work for, which is UNESCO. Has there been mm -hmm. that continuation of the engagements with the, the health government ministry, of, this, oh, okay. of this world, on, on different, uh, on different um, 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 issues and, 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 and areas? Mm. Yeah, uh we do interact with the okay. government a lot, uh, different departments. All right. Uh, through the university, in particular through the Faculty of Science and Engineering. Okay. Because one of the things that we've managed uh, to sort of uh, put together uh, in the faculty is uh, what we call centers of excellence. Okay. So we've set up a number of centers of excellence. Uh, one with deals, one deals with the uh, energy issues. It's called okay. the Center of uh, Sustainable Energy Research. Then we have another one that deals with climate. Uh, okay. So also another center of, uh, I think, climate change sustainability. Then uh, we have also an innovation hub that mm -hmm. deals with IT issues. And uh, we also have another center that deals with, uh, I think, testing, sugar testing, okay. a sugar testing laboratory. We have a center of excellence in, in road safety, which we've recently established. Okay. Uh, so what we do in those centers is to um, solve issues of national problems. For example, we'd have the Department of Energy coming to us. Uh, mm. Then we'd assist them with uh, maybe developing a, a policy paper on something. Okay. And uh, we'd have uh, even NGOs coming to us, uh, seeking our assistance in training young people on issues of energy. Uh, we do that. Uh, so innovation uh, hub, through the innovation hub, we... We, we do a lot in terms of uh, even training or analyzing, you know, a, a data, uh, dat, uh, yeah, data analysis uh, for society in particular. So we, we do interact with society, not just, you okay. know, the government, yeah. By the way, the the, the Kingdom of Eswatini Academy of Science uh, was established with the help of uh, the Minister of uh, ICT. Oh, yeah, okay. through RSTI, the department there of uh, research mm -hmm. in science, technology, and innovation. Right. So they are the ones that that assisted us to to establish the, the you know the unit. Yeah. It gives comfort. Yeah. <laughs> it gives comfort. In my mind, uh, a university, particularly a national university, mm. should always be somewhere at the center of yeah. of, of, of shaping yeah. um, 
yeah. checking policy yeah, and policy, collaborating yeah. with the different areas of government. Definitely, especially yeah. when government is is subventing the, the public yes. institution, because yes. otherwise it would be a waste of resources if you are not making use of the talent there. Yes, mm. if you yeah. Yes, mm. we're taking a short breather mm-hmm. away from everything, and after that short breather, we'll come back and discuss AI. Interesting okay. AI. Mm-hmm. Now, in this short breather, it's it's very stupid question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll start with the most obvious. Uh. Kaiser Chiefs Orlando Pirates. Which is your poison? <laughs> That's the most uh, obvious. Po- poison meaning uh, <laughs> what, what would kill you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is your what is your Okay, I'd say my, my, my die on um, <laughs> I'll yeah. die on this. Yeah, um <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a Kaiser Chiefs, you know, uh, supporter, long-time Kaiser Chiefs supporter. Okay. Uh, for, for, for decades. Ufela. Ufela. Hmm? Ufela. What is a personal thing? Ufela. Ufela. It's not Ufela. It's, it's Where does it start? It's a good question uh, because, uh, you know, some of these things... You can't just walk away because yeah. it, 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 it's in your blood. Okay. Uh, you know, if, you, if, if you've uh, been attached to something for such a long time, and uh, by the way, when it comes to football, mm. uh, you can't just drop your team because it hasn't won, you know, a, a trophy in five years. Okay. Well, except, except if it's Arsenal, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Arsenal <laughs> Will not win <laughs> ever again, but they will uh, we, win we, the we, league. we know the Kaiser Chiefs will come back. They will win you know. the league. If if you look at the statistics, yeah. it, uh, if you look at the statistics, you'll probably find that Kaiser Chiefs has won more trophies than even Sundowns yeah, yeah. in the history of, yeah. uh, of of South African football. They actually have. Yeah. So I, I, the history is very short. Yeah. South African football. No, 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 I mean. Or the, the Sundowns. If you look at the Sundowns, yeah. dominant. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. If you look at Kaiser Chiefs. Mm. Relatively young compared mm. to others, and they now it, it, it is an interesting uh, effect which people, many people, do not know yeah. that my nickname is actually Case. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Why? Because uh, growing up at primary school, Epunya Primary, yeah, uh, I, I used to play, you know, uh, football, and uh, okay. my classmates they nicknamed me Case. Okay. Okay. So if you were to find a random person uh, from uh, Punya, Punya who, yeah. who studied a, a Punya primary in the 80s mm. and ask him if if he, that if if you know Super, then the so Super Mosa, they they don't know. Okay. Super by the way is not my name, it's my nickname. Okay. From primary school I was called Kaiser. Okay. So I started uh, supporting Kaiser Chiefs uh in the 80s. Yes. Yeah, when they were winning, when like, they were winning everything, yeah. So that, so that's 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 that, that's where it comes from. Okay. Yeah. Super, who came up? Uh, super. I was given by uh, a, a, a Facebook uh, friend. Okay. Yeah. What's unique about it is the, is the <laughs> PA. Or oh, the PA. Just oh, okay. Anyway. Uh, uh, yeah, the, it was actually. Superman. Ah, okay. So, uh, but Superman sounds childish. Okay. So, <laughs> with, with, you can't, you can't have, yeah. you can't have a, a grown man being called Superman, Superman. right? So, okay. yeah, so we cut it to, to Super, yeah. I know you're um, going to ask me about Manchester United. No, I won't. It, okay, Manchester yeah. Manchester United is over. Don't. <laughs> Because I would have said Manchester United or Arsenal. Manchester United or Arsenal. Okay. 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 Yeah. Um, do you have a small break? Um, Icebreaker type of question. Yeah. Um, 
I think my question is not really icebreaker. It'll take us back to, to the conversation we were mm. just having. Yeah. Um, I think I'm in a situation right now where I am in awe yes. of everything that the prof mm. is doing. Yeah. Um, and he was speaking about the centers of excellence and the apps. Yes. And then there's obviously <clears throat> his day job, which is, mm. you know. Yes. Teaching. Mm. Where do you in find administration the hours life. in a day? Because you're doing so much. It's mm. it's quite impressive. Mm-hmm. Um, where do you find the hours in a day to do everything and mm. obviously be impact driven, not just mm. do things for the sake of doing them? Mm-hmm. And then how do you unwind? After doing okay. all these things that you do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me start with the first question. Where do I find the hours? Uh, AI has helped a lot because it is it has freed up time. <clears throat> so I'm now able to automate most of the boring stuff, you know, okay. <laughs> the routine stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, routine stuff is the kind of stuff that you do when you enter the office and uh, between eight and, and and lunch. That's the boring stuff. So I now automate that. Kind of stuff. <laughs> so so that, then that frees up time. And believe it or not, I now uh, maybe get home much earlier uh, than before. Like in the past... I'll be the first to arrive there because of my responsibilities. <clears throat> I'll be the first to arrive in the, I mean, the car park, if you know our car, mm. car park at Science. Mm. My car would be the first one to, to be parked there and the last one to leave. You see, that, that's how it, it has been for the last couple of years. But these days, I'm the first one to leave, <laughs> you know, because I have so much time. Now, how do I unwind? I, um, uh, I I hang out with friends. I go out, uh, even by myself. I go and park my car, my favorite spot under the tree, somewhere in, uh, you know, uh, Where what? <laughs> somewhere okay. there and just chill. Okay. <laughs> you know, that's how I un- unwind, yeah. And you've also been doing hiking. Yeah, then uh, on, on, on weekends, uh, I, I hike. Oh, by the way, uh, in the mornings, I, I walk. Okay. I walk. I make sure that I walk for five kilometers for at least five days in a week, uh, on and off. Yeah. <laughs> Not ever. I mean, again, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then, 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 when I'm fit enough, I join uh, a, a hiking team. We have uh, this team called Ultimate Hikers. Yeah. So we we hike uh, not your usual, you know, hiking trails, the most you know uh, challenging, challenging ones. So ones. we won't be doing uh, what you call, uh, or maybe I shouldn't mention them. <laughs> maybe I should because you said what 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 it's an icebreaker. Yes. So we don't do. What you call the Sibebe, what, what? Yes. Uh, then uh, Mahamba Koj. Mm. Uh, even when you're hiking Malolocha, we don't do the usual one. We hike uh, Slotfana. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where an average person will need two days to get to the summit, but we do it in one day. Even when you're hiking Bulembu, we don't do the tourist trail. We look at the mountain and we, we get, you know, the site. The steepest side, and we, we we go for that one. How does that help? Uh, when you are at the summit, or when you are at the <clears throat> halfway to the summit, because mm. when you're halfway, you can't go back. Mm. You have no choice but to complete the hike. Yeah. And when you are at the top, then you understand that okay, there is nothing in life uh, that. I think is more important than uh, I think being alive because you worry about being alive at that mm. point. <clears throat> mm. 
So the life's problems then becomes nothing, you know. When you go back on Monday, even if somebody insults you along the way, you just smile because you you come back, uh, you are different when you come back mm. from the mountain. You have no stress. You are. It, it helps a lot from from, from um, a mental, uh, you know, well being uh, point of view. Yeah. Okay. Mm. You 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 watch soccer. You do live soccer watching. Mm. Now to the stars. I don't know what you do with one. Oh, by the way, I I this I I, I don't watch uh li- I don't watch soccer live anymore okay. because my teams have not been winning okay. so i i only follow the scores okay. because you can't escape them yes. right they are yes. there on people's timelines on twitter when you open and the tv they they're they're there. Yeah. As well. of course Sometimes. so what i normally do is uh i i watch maybe the last five minutes of the game okay. because by then it would be clear your team is trailing is trailing f- five nil so you i mean you won't feel sad mm. so you just you know <laughs> watch <laughs> okay <laughs> so i haven't watched live soccer uh except when uh, you know some random team is playing another random team like let's say liverpool is playing uh, manchester city they out watch because it's just some teams you don't playing have football. a vested interest <laughs> yeah. in no the vested interest is always there okay yes. <laughs> <laughs> but interesting i would like now for us to come back into ai mm-hmm. and you've you've given us a layout of um what piqued your interest in it to mm-hmm. solve a problem yeah that you had and you've also shared the end result mm-hmm. in terms of what it has done from a freeing up of time yeah. automation of mm-hmm. of of of, of um, um mundane um, mm-hmm. activities mm-hmm. your 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 you are very specific like when 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 I spoke to you in this where you're very specific your interest is in generative ai um maybe maybe you, you could help um um provide a distinction of mm-hmm. different types of ai and then we'll zero in on 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 generative ai okay yeah well, i'm I, not saying I, you're an authority I, yeah but well, I'm, i mean I'm... <laughs> i mean you've been you've been uh, from an advocacy point of view you you you, you you've just been out there and okay you know the impact and coming back into your interest in being impactful mm. um you've been impactful within mm. a community of people that i observe as well okay um there's a lot of people that have picked up interest mm-hmm. in ai the concept okay. and the idea <clears throat> um because of how you have gone gone on and mm. demonstrated in a practical way mm. um what can be achieved i mm-hmm. mean you've shared very beautiful designs of mm-hmm. um what could come out from an from a handcraft point of view okay yeah mm-hmm. very beautiful designs of um i think you shared that you were giving a talk to a group of kids yeah, yeah. who mm-hmm. used their tools to generate logos yeah there have been so many examples mm-hmm. you 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 utilize it in a very very easy to to mm-hmm. to relate to mm-hmm. you have gone on and 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 come up with images generated mm-hmm. images that portray mm-hmm. um your football clubs and whatever yeah there is there is a lot of it um mm-hmm. maybe at a high level how is generative ai different from any other types of ais okay. what other types of ais are there okay Yeah I think uh with AI AI is quite old right mm. so um what it basically does is to look for patterns uh in sure. things uh, let's say there is data <clears throat> it looks for patterns and uh yeah uh, maybe then uh, make predictions mm. or yeah so generative AI uh in in layman terms it's just a subset of of the broader field of AI yes so 
generative as the as the, the, the name suggests it yeah. generates yeah. content okay. new content mm. mostly in the form of uh, text audio you know video mm. images mm. and uh, codes documents uh, these days it can generate anything under the sun yes so what what makes it different from the other types of ai is that it uh, learns from uh, its training yes. to generate something that is completely new mm. uh, yeah so so that that's how that's how i can i can basically define it okay so coming to your uh, your other observations of uh, what I've been uh, uh, sharing, mm. uh, that is part of my advocacy, you know, as part of a member of, 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 of our academy, yes. the Academy of Science. Uh, so I, I, I thought of uh, a graphic way of uh, getting people's attention. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so I then decided that, okay, let me expose them to the Im image generation aspects. Mm. <clears throat> and uh, looking at our society, uh, I know what Swazis are passionate about. So I, I decided that, okay, let me use the Swatini shield. Yeah. So if you, if you can, uh, if you recall, yes. the first things that I shared were uh, things like... Uh, Shit. Shirts yeah. with the Swazi, uh, I mean, Swazi. Swati, Swatini colors yes, and the yes, flag, yes. and uh, some fashion design things. Then I I, I moved uh, to um, you know jewelry, mm. uh, beaded jewelry, yes. mats, and, and things like that. Mm. Then uh, once that was out of the way, uh, I then uh, started uh, with what you call memes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm happy because I mean, if <laughs> if you can check people's yeah, posts yeah. normally, yeah. when Liverpool has won a match, yes. you, you'll find that lion sitting yes, at the summit. Yes, yes. Uh, so that was my one of my proud uh, designs, wow. which I, I, I'm happy that it has spread. Yes. It's viral, basically. That it was, and it has become a representation uh, of something mm, in a in a very literal mm -hmm, way. Mm -hmm. uh, so now people appreciate it. So what then happened is. Uh, People see the designs, then they would contact me, yeah. invite me to give a talk, mm -hmm. which I'm always, uh, you know, uh, very excited to, to yeah. do. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so I've been doing talks uh, just to create awareness uh, on, on this generative AI. So yeah, it, it, it's quite useful in 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 in, in uh, I'd say especially for for a SWAT team yes. because we do not have the skills yes. so so what people don't realize is that the the main benefit of of uh, artificial intelligence uh, the, the, the 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 type that is generative is that you no longer have to be an expert to do something yes. for your business for example yes. like 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 the example that you gave uh, the the young women uh, who were in a workshop mm. to learn uh, how to write emails because okay. some of them had had not been exposed to yes. uh, to, to computers. Yes. So it, it was interesting that you know some of them did not even have form five, right? Okay. But uh, I was able to to show them how to use this tool, which is very simple yes. as long as you can type in. Uh, you know, as long as you know how to use a keyboard, mm -hmm. you can then type in the instruction. Then it gives you an a, 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 an, an outcome. output. Yeah. Yes. So I was demonstrating how they can uh, design logos yes. and stickers for the kind of businesses that because even though they were not, some of them they did not have like uh, qualifications, but they had businesses. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yes. But now, if you want to to grow your business, you must be able to market it, right? Yes, How yes. do you market it? Uh, let's say uh, this bottle here, uh, you must have a sticker and mm. a label, right? Mm. And uh, you don't want to be paying a, an expert yes. all the time to do that. Yes. So it, it then gives you the freedom to be able to 
to do it to yourself do it. Yeah. without uh, learning a graphic designs or anything. If you are able to just give it an instruction, mm. then it gives you the, the outcome. Yeah, so, so that's the beauty of it, yeah. And with some of them, obviously, these are small businesses. Um, some of them, yes, well established, but yeah. some of them still starting out. They likely won't even have that budget for yeah. the graphic designer to yeah. do the logos for mm. them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think what I like with 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 you and your approach, mm. I think in the earlier episodes, if 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 you recall, those ones that or without video, we, we actually did speak about um, AI and the opportunities for AI in South Africa. But if you look at that and how in conversations that you mm. you, 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 you get into, mm. we're always looking at the large things, yeah. very abstract things, mm. and then very quick to then say, AI is here to, to take jobs and whatever. Uh-huh. <laughs> the reality here is that technology in its entire history, mm. has come in. Of course, it has had negative impact, but the impact has mostly been mm. positive. And <clears throat> that positive impact has mostly addressed almost near day-to-day type of requirements. And it it it, it actually it actually increases satisfying yours. Wow! It actually increases. It actually increases. Um, access mm. to mm. to things that would previously have been exclusive. Mm. You speak about um, as long as you can, you have a keyboard, you can type. Mm. Of course, you need to know the tool, like mm-hmm. not to know the tool. You need to know the where mm. do I find what tool is right and whatever. Mm. There is the issue of the. Um, prompt and mm. engineering the yeah. instruction mm-hmm. how does one simplify that mm-hmm. i know a couple of people um who basically downloaded the readily available um ai mm-hmm. tools okay and one two one two um they've dumped it mm. because they think what they are looking for and mm. what they are getting are two different not things, aligned. which okay. speaks to mm. the prompt engineering. Mm-hmm. How does one get a handle and, and, and of that? <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Okay, maybe, maybe let, let me let me start with the the issue of, of of you know just clarifying what I meant by as long as you can type. Uh, yeah. For me, I think the the tool is not different from Google. Yes. As long as you can remember the address www.google.com, yes. Yes. you can use the tool because it will give you the same text box where you have to type yes. in the uh, the prompt. Now, uh, when it comes to uh, prompting, I know people get frustrated uh, <laughs> because they want to, uh, let's say, it's a Sunday, right? Uh, you want to generate an image of an elephant wearing Arsenal T-shirt falling from a tree. <laughs> you see? <laughs> then that's what you put in, right? Yes. Then, <laughs> then the outcome <laughs> is not as nice as what, what you saw me doing, I mean, posting earlier mm. on. Mm. Uh, but then, yeah, uh, maybe let me just say, uh, image generation when it comes to prompting is the most you know complex. Yeah. But the nice thing about AI is that you don't have to be an expert in prompt engineering to yes. generate that beautiful image. You, you must know the tricks. Now here's a trick, a simple trick. If you don't, if if you you don't have good prompts. Yeah. For whatever you want to do, go to the AI tool and mm. and type this. I hope your, your audience will take notes on this one. All right. Here is a, a magic prompt. Ask me, or oh, you tell the tool, you know what, I want to uh, draw, I, I want to generate an image of Liverpool, uh, maybe a poster of Liverpool uh, versus Manchester City. 
Yeah. Uh, but I don't know how to do it. Mm. I, I don't know. I don't have the prompt, mm. right? Ask me enough questions that you will need to generate such an image. That's all. So okay. basically you ask the tool yes. to ask you questions that it needs to come up to give you the prompt. Okay. So you ask mm -hmm. the tool to generate the prompt, which you can just copy and paste. Yeah, yeah. So what will then happen is that it will ask, ask give you a questions. list of questions. Yes. First question is, uh, uh, what color of jerseys do you want the, you know, maybe you, you've, you've yes. said the elephant and the lion. Yes. Th then your response, red. Yeah. Sky blue. Yeah, yeah. Red home jersey. You know, sky blue home jersey. Yes. Note. What is the type time of of the day? Is it it will give you a guide. Uh -huh. Is it morning? morning? Is it dusk? Is it midday? Yes. What is an environment, the atmosphere? Is it a fully packed stadium? Is it is is it an empty stadium? Okay. Uh what should be the type of image? Should it be a close up to focus on the on Page, the subject yes. or to focus on the on the stadium on the environment, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you want it to be uh, a, a photorealistic image or a cartoonish Cartoons, kind yeah. of mm -hmm. then you respond so 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 it, it will ask you a series of questions uh, not more than 10 so all you have to do is just respond, so respond. respond. and when you finish responding then you should it give you the you prompt, the prompt then you can take. just copy and paste uh, it, of course, uh, if you are using ChatGPT, it will generate the image and mm. give you the prompt. Mm. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. so that's how that's how you can do it. If okay. you you don't want to stress about prompt, yes. you know, prompting techniques, or you, you you don't know any good prompts. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can use the same even for let's say you want to use an AI tool to pr to proofread something yes. that you you've read you've written. Yes. You can you just tell it because what people don't understand is that this thing uh, mimics a human being. Of so it, it that's why it's called a conversation. Sometimes it was it's called well earlier they used to call it conversational AI because okay. you have a conversation with mm. each large language model. Language meaning you have you 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 communicate with it in human language. So because you, there you, is yeah. there has always been the the, the target in the. Mm. computer sciences fields. Mm. If you look at the different level generation languages mm -hmm. as best as possible to be closer to human. And I yeah. think that's where we yeah. are. So if, if you want to use it efficiently, yeah. forget that it's a computer. Think of it as a human being. You mm -hmm. you start the conversation, you greet it, uh, you know, hi, I, are you up? Then <laughs> it will respond. <laughs> Then, yeah, you know what, I have a problem. I have this draft that I've written, uh, but uh, I, I want you to help me, you know, fix uh, grammatical errors, punctuations, yeah. and now, or, or, or just maybe rewrite something so that it flows. I mm. want it to be coherent. That's all. You're having a conversation. Yeah, yeah. Don't instruct as if it doesn't understand. Just mm -hmm. pretend that you are having a conversation. A conversation. Then it... Now, w when you have this series of engagements yes. and follow-ups, before don't jump, just jump to the instruction. Mm. Just warm it up a bit so that it can understand the context. Okay. You see, mm -hmm. it can understand the problem that you're trying to solve. Then once it understands that, then you will see uh, towards the end, it can give you the prompt. A and when you ask it to, or w when you give it the, the draft, then the output will be, you know, as you expected, mm -hmm. because it now understands the context. That's fascinating. Quite interesting. Mm. It is. It is. And, and you, yeah, <laughs> it is, it is quite, it is quite interesting um, and very helpful. Mm. And we do believe that our viewers are, mm -hmm. are picking up. I mean, okay. I usually usually say even if it is one thing, mm -hmm. um, per conversation, mm -hmm. there is um, one person being better in one thing, yeah. um, um, and, 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 and 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 it is maybe as a as another breather. Mm -hmm. 
um but also keeping it within within your 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 your, your ai space mm -hmm. which is your tool of which is your which is your your preferred um ai mm -hmm. um tools or models okay. between yeah. um your open ai and your your the google ais of this world okay uh, I use ChatGPT. Okay. I've used it for over a year, and there's a reason. Yeah. It is a leader, yes. right? And within ChatGPT, I use uh, GPT-4. Yeah. The, 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 the premium the, version, the yeah, premium because it, it is multimodal, uh, and uh, I mean, it accepts, you know, uh, files, in any format, mm -hmm. you can upload your PDF, you can upload an image, you can upload uh, you know text, okay. word document, and the output it can output in any format, as, Excel, as, 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 as you wish. Okay. But now the, the the trick there, I don't just use it because of that you know yeah, yeah. its ability to handle files or its vision capacity. I use it because I'm aware of the technical things. Uh, in terms of uh, the metrics that I use to mm. measure it, uh, it is the leading. The, the others are playing catch up. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the others are playing catch up. But recently, what happened this week mm. is that uh, the the new version of of, of cloud yeah, yeah. Uh, was sort of launched, and now uh, that one in some of those metrics that I used, and mm. and in some of the 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 because uh, I've got my own metrics right okay uh, which I use for 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 my uh, research okay my numerical analysis yes. research so the metric that I use is um, I ask the tool to generate I have an algorithm for solving a particular equation okay then I ask the tool to understand the algorithm then generate the code that can be used to implement the algorithm. Okay. Then after generating that code, I ask it to extend it from one dimension to three dimensions. Okay. So uh, your your Geminis, yes. those are, are, are not able to do that. Okay. Your your ChatGPT, the 3.5 version, the free one, can't That's do not. it. Yeah. But the GPT-4 is able yes. to do it well. Uh, the cloud wasn't able to do it well up until last week. Last week. Mm -hmm. So last week, what I found was that... Actually, to give yeah. context of last week, because mm -hmm. we record today, we'll, we'll, we'll finish. Oh, okay. To yeah. give context of last mm -hmm. week, um, we're recording on the 10th, 10th yeah. of March. Yeah. yeah. So a new Cloud 3, mm -hmm. uh, it, goes, it has got three models within it. There okay. is the free one called uh, Sonnet, the yeah. paid one, uh, Opus, then the other one is Haiku. I've only... Uh, uh, I have been using only the free one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what is amazing, the paid one is supposedly much more inter intelligent than yes. the free one. So what is amazing is that the free one mm. matches or even surpasses the oh, paid the chat GBT, chat GBT. Yeah, the GBT4. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing. And also it has uh, what you call a, a larger context window, okay. which means that... Uh, you know, when you're using your 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 Geminis or even yes. Copilot, it will tell you that okay, zero to two thousand, yes. zero to four thousand, yes. which means that when you paste something there, it, it will if, cut because if it, yeah, exists, it, it doesn't allow yeah. you to. Yeah. yeah. So now with this one, you can literally upload a book there, and and and, and ask and it to to to, to to give you a yeah, summary, yeah, or whatever. to give you a summary yeah. or. Ask it what's on, on on chapter this summarize chapter fourteen mm. or yeah, so it's quite interesting. And also, I I, I have been using it uh, to um, for data analysis. <clears throat> okay. So you, you guys are in the bank, right? Let's yes. say you, you take a, a six months bank statement, yeah. right? Yeah. The six months typically bank statement will have uh, credit, you know, debits, debits yeah. and the transactions in. ATM, you know, withdrawals, mm. uh, deposits, uh, foreign payments. Mm. So what you can do is just one prompt. You upload a long statement, yeah. right? Then you give an instruction 
for that thing to categorize the, the transactions yeah. mm -hmm. into deposits or whatever, yes. withdrawals, uh, you know, transactions. Terms, it's, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so whatever I'll say, uh, categorization that mm. you want, it's amazing. It does that in seconds, yeah. right? And it's it's so accurate such that you know the bank's statements are normally secured, right? Mm. <laughs> the ones mm. that you that that you mm. you send to us, mm. right? Mm. So if you wanted to convert it from the PDF format that you send to let's say Excel, Excel. so you can yeah. be able to manipulate, you won't be able to do that yeah. because of if the you protection, go, of the, 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 the protection, yeah. yeah. But with this thing, because it looks at it, it it reads the thing like a human being, yes. right? So it it uses its vision <laughs> it's capacity. Like, it's like it's like it's taking it, copying and pasting yes. without doing the the, yes. the, so, the, so the not converting the files, but within it, uh -huh. seconds. Yeah, so it's yeah. not aware that the thing is is, uh, is secured. So yeah. it, it can convert it into an Excel within within seconds. Okay, and uh, the beauty is that. Uh, with the formulas, you, you you don't need formulas anymore. Yes. You just give it instructions in 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 English. Yes. Right. I want you to create maybe different sheets. Yes. The first sheet is on uh, credits, deposits. Yes. Have another one for ATM transactions. Yes. And whatever categories. So so that, that, that that's what I found to be interesting. So, so with the cloud, I'm monitoring it closely. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I haven't subscribed yet. Yet, yeah. Because I don't need to, because the, the 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 free, the, the free one is yeah. able to. Because the temptation, so yeah. You yeah because mm -hmm. uh, people, the danger is that people get carried away. There, by the way, there are like thousands of these AI tools, yes. right? But uh, most of them are driven by these main ones. Mm -hmm. They are driven by the the ChatGPT or, or the cloud, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So I will not be subscribing because I'm waiting for the GPT-5 to be released. Mm -hmm. So there is a rumor that it might be released before the end of this month or or, or sometime next month. Okay. So if ChatGPT-4 is, is that good, the GPT-5 will five be three. superhuman. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm waiting for it to be released. Then, I I take a decision. But right now, I'm able to do everything that that I I want to do using the GPT four. So 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 that's good. Yeah. Cool. There is the other side of it. So I'm sure you mm -hmm. you would have interacted with it. Um. What is your take on the other side of of mm -hmm. of 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 AI, mm. like um, someone actually from a former AI chief AI, what what from Google, Google yeah. was actually saying. It, now speaking of it, of AI and robots, mm. um, speaking of a world takeover. Mm -hmm. Internet takeover. This could be the end of the internet. Mm. End, 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 end. There's so many. There's so many yeah. theories that are being put out there. Okay. Of course, <clears throat> an understanding where, where 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 the school of thought comes from. Mm -hmm. um, with generative AI, looking at human mm -hmm. humankind, mm -hmm. the amount of knowledge that we've been able to produce mm -hmm. vis a vis. Um, AI being able to generate mm -hmm. new content, mm -hmm. new groundbreaking yeah. pieces of knowledge at a mm -hmm. very, very fast pace. Mm -hmm. um, actually, actually, he was even talking of we are building all of these things. They will come and dictate to us and mm -hmm. whatever, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. That is one aspect. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, I look at it as an extreme. Okay. Yeah. I'm not saying it's not a possibility, <laughs> but as an extreme. Mm -hmm. um, I work in the space of cybersecurity. Because mm -hmm. one of the biggest threats from a cybersecurity point of view right now is AI-driven attacks okay. uh -huh. mm -hmm. and hacks and everything. Mm -hmm. um, you, you, you mm -hmm. just spoke about um, um, encrypted documents. Mm -hmm. And AI engines being able to actually yeah. 
decipher that information. Uh-huh. One of the common um, proof that you are human type of control <laughs> that we have um, in, 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 the, uh-huh. in, the, in, the, in the technology space uh-huh. is the catcher. Mm, the capture phrases, the capture yeah, phrases, yeah, yeah. and click here to prove. Mm. But basically, taking that into an AI tool that mm-hmm. is advanced enough, mm. it reads it as a human being, yeah. and and you, it's you able have a to actually mm. answer mm. those questions. What are your thoughts around those? Yeah, before before I I, I get to your thoughts, in fact, I've I've thought of, of uh, <laughs> something interesting. <laughs> yeah. You know, when, when you send us all statements, sometimes you you ensure that you are not able to open it. Yeah. You need a password, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, like your, the or password is usually your, your, your ID, ID number. Your ID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I haven't tried it yet. So when I get home, I'm going to try it. I'm going to upload one of those files <laughs> to, 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 to see if it because, <laughs> can read it without the, the, the password. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, because as well, your, your ID number, as much as you may have tried mm. to protect it, you have mm-hmm. input it somewhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. No, that that's an interesting thought. Now to answer your question, um, I believe there is nothing that is AI driven, right? Mm-hmm. Like uh, a computer cannot write a prompt. Okay. Then go and hack, right? There is a human mm-hmm. being that's going to write the prompt. Okay. So this AI. What it basically does, if you can use the, the from a cyber security or hacking yeah, yeah. point of view, is yeah. that it, it has uh, enabled anyone that's interested to be a to hack. Actually, yeah, yeah. Because previously, the, the, the hacking group was, was, a specialized. was a specialized mm. group of people mm. who know how to hack. Mm. But right now, anyone can just go there and say, uh, you know, Give me a step by step guide on how to hack into somebody's, you know, phone. Yeah. You see, yeah. or yeah. how to hack into. So that's the difference. Mm. But now the beauty is, the the main AI tools will not give you that step by step guide because yes, they have been programmed to to to. <laughs> unless you have a way to counter them. Yeah, yes, so but but, but the, the, you, you always have something. We're, we're talking about the main the yes, main I mean, ones, right? Yes. But you you have rogue ones, right? Yeah. You will have a rogue AI, uh, maybe that has been generated by or created by some rogue state or yeah. rogue individuals who use it for malicious or you know Perfect. nefarious activities. Yeah. Uh, so those issues are, uh, will always be there, but they are not new. Those issues. You know, they've mm. always been there. You've always had states uh, using technology that has been developed for good uh, yes. to do something bad, yes. right? So, but now, if you look at the majority of us, uh, you know, we will not be using AI to create nuclear weapons, of course. you see. Mm-hmm. We'll just use it, you know, uh, maybe to... Generate, to solve our problems, yeah, to, to create solve our efficiencies daily, daily pro- in yeah, your day-to-day yeah. process. Yeah. Mm. So, so AI, uh, basically, what it does is to improve our productivity and efficiency. That's all. Nothing else. And mm-hmm. also, uh, it's like you know, wearing an exoskeleton, you know, yes. which gives you superhuman powers. But yes. you are applying your human thinking. It's mm. just that it helps you to be able to lift the heavy stuff mm. to run faster and uh, deliver whatever uh, assignment you, you 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 are working on yeah on time yeah so we can't run away from the fact that someone out there has a rogue ai that they will no, use in the we dark can't. web no, we can't. um but it shouldn't then make us shy away from the mainstream ones yeah. yes. and how they can be helpful. Yes. Yeah. The, the, as well the mainstream as ones, this. the mainstream ones, let, let me give you uh, an example when it comes to um, uh, image generation, mm. right? ChatGPT, Gemini, whatever, uh, will not, no matter how good your prompt is, it can't give you a deep fake. You can't go to ChatGPT mm. and say, Generate an image of uh, 
uh, Donald Trump, uh, you know, shaking hands of black American voters. Mm. It, will, it will refuse, right? But they are rogue ones. I know plenty of them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you can... <laughs> I, I, I use them myself, right? Yeah, yeah. For, uh, uh, for, for my talks, right? Yes. Because let's say the, 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 the part of my talk where I have to talk about uh, challenges and yes. and uh, limitations and uh, bad things of yes. AI. So yes. I, I want to make it graphic, right? Yeah. So I go to that AI tool and I ask it to generate an image uh, that is a deep fake, mm. which I use for, for, for demonstration, right? So they are there, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, but I won't publicize. The, the, <laughs> the, the negatives should mm. not stop. Outweigh the, yeah. Yes, the negatives should not stop progress. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, we should be aware of mm. the, the threats, mm -hmm. but be steered more by the what we can mm -hmm. get for the better good of um, society. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of talks, mm -hmm. um, of course, you mentioned advocacy mm -hmm. um, for, 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 for AI in general. Outside that, what drives you so much? Outside you, you, the advocate. Oh, yes, okay. you seem uh -huh. you seem to be. You seem to. Be very. Keen and very mm. available yeah. to actually engage, okay. outside of your mm. formal spaces. Earlier on, I said. My experience of you. Mm. Was one that you were open um, to a point you would see mm. we would never personally I've never struggled mm -hmm. um, to actually say um, please help me here mm -hmm. and you are doing a lot similarly you are doing a lot of talks Yeah, I'm not sure if it, it is your a natural strength mm -hmm. but I don't necessarily think mm -hmm. it is. It, it, it is something that you've developed mm -hmm. very, very well of. Mm -hmm. What drives you? Yeah, uh, okay, the, the talks are, I would say, uh, I don't want to, <laughs> to sound sophisticated, but uh, what tends to happen is that uh, you would have somebody, maybe some organization, yes. right? They're interested in specific things. Okay. Like uh, a recent one uh, where I was uh, giving a talk on the applications of AI in the blue or the green economy. Okay. So they're interested only in the green economy, right? Okay. So what that would then drive me is uh, I always want to learn new things. Right. Okay. Before giving that talk, yes. I had no clue. Well, I had a pedestrian, you know, idea yes. of what the green economy is. Yes. But in terms of researching for, you know, for the for presentation, the, yeah. Then I learned a lot of things, right? Okay. So I now know a bit about the the, the, the green economy. Uh, another one, uh, I'll be talking about uh, the application of AI in financial advanced financial data mm. analysis, mm. right? Mm -hmm. So there are some things that uh, before, you know, engaging on the research, I would have no idea about, but uh, I, sure. I, I will grow from just accepting the invitation uh, to talk about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will come up with something new. So I would okay. have learned something new outside AI. And also it stretches my understanding of, of, of AI mm. a bit. Because you'll find that for my normal day-to-day, -day, you know, applications, mm. uh, there is uh, nowhere where I have to worry about uh, AI reading a scanned document or transcribing a handwritten uh, mm. statement mm. or whatever. Mm. But then uh, through uh, preparing for, for, for that talk, I will then uh, learn something new about AI. Okay. So I use it as a trick to grow to learn, my skills, to, 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 to yeah, learn, okay. yeah, and also to broaden my, my understanding of the world. So uh, 
every time after completing one exercise, I, the next one becomes even much more interesting because I apply the skills that I've learned in the previous one. Yeah. Okay. So that's why at this point I'm very eager to, you know, to do more and more because yes. I, 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 I want to believe that I'm, I'm at the learning you know, stage of this AI at the moment, yeah. And also it's developing quite rapidly. What you knew yes. last week will, yes. will, will, yes. will be yes. redundant. Yes. So yeah. I always have to, yeah, okay. to be yeah, learning all the time. Yeah. How are we doing for time? Okay, <laughs> all right. I think we will be will be bring it to a close um, 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 very shortly. Mm-hmm. You look like you have a burning question. Um, <laughs> do I have a burning question? <laughs> <laughs> Don't have a burning question. Okay. Um, maybe just just one thing. Um, with. Obviously, the people that you interact with in the different spaces, be it in your formal employment mm-hmm. or in this in these talks that you are invited to give. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, based on the formal employment scenario, mostly those are young people. Mm-hmm. What advice would you give to them? Um, in terms of just developing their interest, uh, not specifically in AI, but in any new innovations mm-hmm. that are coming up? Yeah, well, uh, I would advise them to, to embrace uh, not just AI uh, technology, uh, because I worry a lot that uh, most of them, particularly those that... Uh, are A students, right? Mm. They focus a lot on getting those good grades, forgetting mm. that the workplace is now different. The work, the, the good grades are now not worth much. So they really need to embrace this technology, use it to pick up the, the soft skills that are so desperately needed out there. So that by the time you, 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 you graduate, you are the complete package. Otherwise, uh, you will struggle even to, you know, uh, be useful, even when we're given an opportunity uh, to work. Uh, so they really need uh, uh, AI in particular. Uh, why? Because it is going to change the way we do things. Jobs will be transformed. Uh, th- th- this is not just mm. a hype. This is real. Mm. This is different from just the introduction of a new version of um, Excel mm, or whatever. Mm, mm. Uh, this changes uh, a lot of things. You will find that some, you know, uh, operations within, you know, institutions will no longer be relevant. Like customer facing, for example. Mm. You talked about call centers. Yes. You know, why do you need a, a, a call center uh, if a, 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 a chatbot will understand? Your question, mm. it, it, it understands your voice, you talk to it, it responds in voice. So you no longer need a human being on the other side. Mm. And if some studies were, were done that uh, what a human being can do in 10 minutes, a, a chatbot like at a customer yes. service center yes. can do in less than a minute yes. by just interacting with you. Yes. So it can solve problems faster. And so forth. So, so that's just one example of uh, you know uh, a, a job that will be impacted. A there, transformation there are of a job. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think young people should embrace this technology, uh, use it in their maybe to study, for example, to learn faster, uh, and also in their projects. Uh, use it everywhere, basically, uh, and then so that by the time they uh, they have completed, they are well versed with it, and at interview, they can you know demonstrate that they are convincing. Then when they're given the job, they can mm. deliver. Yeah, mm. so that's good. My advice. And speaking speaking of 
academics, one question that I forgot to ask is how are you seeing AI mm-hmm. affecting <laughs> affecting <laughs> Yeah. Your 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 mm. your your classroom in present in okay. practical terms. Oh yeah. Um mm. plagiarism, assignment mm. generation, mm. and 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 mm. are you seeing some of those mm. challenges coming up? Mm. I'm now talking at an institutional level. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh <laughs> it's going to be very difficult because at the moment there is no tool. I know some people will claim that there is a tool that exists for detecting, for, for detecting yeah. AI it's, AI uh, it's, it's going to be, it's impossible uh, mm. because uh, even if the tool gives you a draft that appears to be written by an AI tool, you can take that draft and just give it a simple prompt. Please humanize this text. Mm. You know, then uh, it can humanize it. And also, add an error here, spelling mistake here or there. Just uh, yeah, even even, even without <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, now here's a simple thing, right? Yes. Which people don't don't don't, don't take advantage of. Mm. Do you know that you can uh, use your old assessments, right? Your old assignments that you wrote maybe last year, right? Yeah. In your language, in your style of writing, and so mm. forth. Just upload them. To the tool and, and then ask the tool to learn your writing style and mm-hmm. then you then ask it to write this assignment, this assignment in, in, the, that, in my uh, language and writing style so then the output will, will be, be in, in your language. language yeah if your language is mm. broken english if your style is breaking english mm. or, or, or putting grammatical mm. errors here and mm. there then it's going to give you in your style yeah so now uh, how <laughs> as a marker of the script, how yes. would you differentiate oh. <laughs> it? <laughs> yeah. So it's impossible. Okay. So the, the, then the idea, I mean, the fact of the matter is that with, with just good prompting, you yes. can trick the, um, yes, the, yes. the AI the detector. Yeah. And also the newer versions are more human, like yes. the, the, the Cloud 3 yes. that I was talking about. Yes. Uh, the way it beats GPT-4 is, is in... That aspect, it, it, it gives you a text that is more human, you know, like. Okay. Yeah, so you don't have to refine it with a prompt okay. because the first draft that it outputs is just so good that you can't figure out that it was written by a machine. So now, as an, as an, as an academic um, probably you may not have asked me but probably mm. you have how do you live with that how do you live with that future the future that okay um my responsibility is training mm-hmm. and with tools that are in place because mm-hmm. mm. 20 years ago mm. it was a literal piece of paper little, little part where yeah. my answer as a person that will plagiarize mm. it in exam mm. You get hold of that. You, mm-hmm. you actually get the true okay. thing with 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 tools available mm. like like this. Mm. How do you see the transformation of delivery of learning okay. content? Okay. Now, uh, so first of all, you stop giving uh, routine assess- assignments. Okay. You give authentic assess- assignments. Assessments. Okay. You can't. Let's say in computer science, mm. you can't give as a homework exercise uh, a problem like go and write a routine for detecting if a number is a prime is number. Is a prime number, yeah. That, 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 that's stupid. Yeah. You know? So you, you, you give them uh, more practical things like uh, to solve a real problem, mm. you see, uh, such that even if they were to use the AI, yes. They will not get the answer immediately. They the AI will, will be, be part applied. of the steps that yes. are re- re- required. Yeah. Uh, so now uh, things are assessment. Use the AI as part of the assessment. Okay. You see, as part of the assessment process. You know, when we were growing up, uh, I mean, like the, the papers that we wrote, like in Form 3 mm. and the likes, we did, didn't use a calculator mm. it, for some of them. Mm. So there are tables at the end, you know, for the sign of sign of 30, yes. sign of 15. Yes. But now they've realized that, okay, but somebody will fail uh, the math exam because 
he, he maybe used a different role for the sign of he made a mistake reading mm. the, 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 the 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 following yeah. yeah, yeah. So then you fail an exam, but that doesn't mean that you don't, that you don't understand, understand, the, understand the Yeah. So you failed because of something that has nothing to do with the mathematics. Mm. Now, uh, so when you are testing students, you have to be you you have to know exactly what you are testing. Okay. You see? Uh, someone will fail because he misread the question, mm. or I don't know, maybe he, he used the wrong trick or yes. the wrong method, but that does not mean that the person does not know yes. what you... Yes. So uh, what will change as the assessment uh, nature will have to change. Uh, homework is now redundant. I mean, you don't... Homework is dead, basically, mm. In, mm. in some subjects. Mm. Uh, if... Because some subjects, you, you cannot give... It's difficult to come up with an authentic assessment. Yes. Mathematics, for example, because... Okay. It is an exact science, right? Yeah, yeah. You are asking students to differentiate a function or to integrate a function, mm. right? I mean, like, if you, the students can simply plug it in and tell GPT, you get the integral. Mm. So you can't give that as a homework. So for mathematics, you have, you, you, when you're assessing, they must be in class in front of you. It has to be face to face. So okay. that, that, that is the change. But for other uh, uh, subjects, when you are uh, giving them uh, assignments or assess any assessments, it must be authentic mm. assessment. So, yeah. So as instructors, we now have to understand exactly. Uh, we have to sort of uh, reflect basically on our assessment practices. Uh, that's all. Uh, and also, when we are setting, you can still set assignments, but set them in such a way that it doesn't matter even if they use yes. AI. Yeah. 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 Or okay. in, uh, in uh, computer science, you can't just say, okay, uh, write a script. That is useless. <laughs> yeah. Instead because of, instead we'll of generate saying, scripts. Yeah. Solve for this problem uh -huh. and in the pro 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 process of solving for the problem, they will generate a script. Yeah. Using an AI engine, plug it in, yeah. and and mm -hmm. and it, and that it becomes part of the learning. Yeah, yeah. So so they 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 now have to learn using AI as a tool, uh, much like learning using yes. a calculator as yes. a tool, mm -hmm. or learning using a software as a tool. Yes. So the the change is that you are you are you are not using software, you are using AI. Okay. Yeah, which has replaced the software. All right. Yeah. I think we need to bring it to a close. Um, it's been one of those <laughs> that are so um, so involving, so interesting. You can go on and on and on and on and on. And I think from our end, yeah. um, we appreciate your presence. Your we have Coach Atsuai Sasmunile from the world of <laughs> of knowledge. You have provoked our thoughts. Um, yeah. With what we also try, um, we'll mm -hmm. take some of your, some of your, 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 your advices mm -hmm. incorporate, and we will push it on. I think yeah. one, one of the things that I take personally from, 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 from everything that you've said and observation is passion is important. Mm -hmm. Um, eagerness to solve problems daily mm -hmm. um, is, 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 is important. It keeps the relevance going on. And it also ensures that you are forever involved in the learning process. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate you being here. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> closing. Um, thank you, Prof. Thank you for giving us your time and for sharing so much knowledge with us. Um, I'm sure as much as our viewers have benefited, we have also benefited and actually learned a lot during yeah. today's discussion. And I'm hoping that sometime in the future, you will avail yourself to join us again and... The door is always open. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and just share more on 
the fascinating things Stop. that are happening yeah. out there and yeah. what you're involved in. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah. No. Uh, thanks a lot uh, for inviting me. I thoroughly enjoyed the, the session. Uh, I learned a lot, believe it or not, uh, because uh, as we are discussing, you know, my mind is always racing. Yeah. Now I, I have a lot of ideas that I, I would like to, you know, to test when I get okay. home in, in front of <laughs> okay. home. Uh, Fine enough, that's what always happens. Yeah. Uh, through interacting with yes. people, through trying to solve people's problems, uh, you you uncover a lot of, you know, new things that you need to, new problems that, that, that you need to, uh, to solve. So, yeah. yeah. So I think it's, it's been a pleasure for me to, to be here, uh, you know, having this conversation, uh, it helps. I think for me, it's about, uh, creating awareness. Yes. Uh, but above all is, uh, uh being impactful because that is, what has uh, that's what drives me trust yeah, me yeah, you are. yeah so longevity is is largely informed by uh the desire to to make an impact in society not just for yourself but yeah. uh i think just being useful yes. you know you are, you, are, you, are not, you know as as you get older you are not driven by a lot of things you know it has kept you young trust me <laughs> 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 Yeah, so. <laughs> that, that forever um, so. process of seeking uh, knowledge, it has kept you. Uh, yeah, uh, so I don't want to retire in this. So, <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll keep learning. If you, you think that there's something that you can learn from me, I'm, I'm available. Just, just you know, shout and I will, uh, I will make myself available. Yeah. Thank you very much for leaving that door open. <laughs> we have a small token of appreciation, Prof. It is oh, not okay. AI generated. It is nothing. It is not technology. <laughs> but basically, okay. um, you will remember us with it. Uh -huh. um, we've engraved our mm. our 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 logo here. Mm -hmm. You will keep your your phone resting <laughs> on it. Okay. Um, yeah. Hopefully, you won't need to scratch mm. it a little bit more. Um, All right. Keep it here. Okay. Thanks. And yeah. we appreciate. Thanks you coming lot. over and <laughs> everything you yeah. have been uh, it has been a very very informative yeah. session yeah thanks a lot in fact when i was saying when i get home yeah there's something that i would like to experiment on yeah is actually this uh style oh yeah okay. because uh it's a particular it's a unique line style right okay so i was going to uh take maybe a snap of it, this yeah there's a prompt that i use okay. to uh, uh let's say maybe sign this text yes. in this line style okay. unique mm -hmm. line style okay then uh i was going to come up with something beautiful so so share it with but, us uh, <laughs> <laughs> please do share it with yeah, us we'd like to see the results yeah i, I will yeah <laughs> all right <laughs> Oh, thanks a lot. Guys. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you very much. Um, it has been a very pleasurable um, session. And we urge you to um, continue supporting the channel. Subscribe. Mm -hmm. um, share it with people. Um, share the link. Let's keep the movement going. Good. Yeah. Thank you.